Evangelist Vincent, an anointed man of God who has been called to preach the gospel of the kingdom of God with clarity and to heal the sick and the oppressed. God has a very special end time purpose for the nation of Sierra Leone. So let's worship. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Jesus has come to seek and save that which is lost. Because he loves you. He wants to have the relationship. He's about to do a miracle in your soul. Your broken heart is healed right now. I will bless the Lord, Psalm 34, at all times his praise shall continue to be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord, the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. My translator is going to translate this verse. It says, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. You know, 80% of the body of Christ suffers with fear. I pray that is to be eradicated from you today. This Fear can be in many different areas. You can be afraid of something. You want to be set free from that? Shout amen. The young lions, they lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. You shall not lack, you shall not be short of any good thing. Amen. Amen. Is anybody short of something? Are you short of something? Do you need something? That is good. Then believe this morning for that need to be met. For the word of God does not lie. Let's go to Luke 4, 18 first, please. I'm going to read to you from the Amplified, uh, just this verse. And it says, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. This is Jesus speaking. And he, and he says, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach the good news. The gospel to the poor. He has sent me to announce release to the captives. And recovery of sight. To the blind. To send forth as delivered. Those who are oppressed. Who are downtrodden, bruised, crushed, and broken down by calamity. Now that really is what Jesus is saying. And as Jesus is saying this, he is quoting the prophet Isaiah, who prophesied in, and as recorded in chapter 61, verse 1. Jesus often would quote from the Old Testament. Because Jesus came to fulfill the scriptures, amen. Amen. 
And Jesus is setting out three different tasks. Preach the gospel. Heal the brokenhearted. And set the captives free. Now many are brokenhearted. But they have heard the gospel. And by his grace, through faith, they have become saved and born again. But their heart is still broken. For as many people, they don't understand that Jesus addressed three different tasks. Second, to heal the broken hearted. And third, to conduct deliverance. To set the captives free. A captive is anybody who is in one or more areas of his or her life restrained, blocked to excel in what God has promised. Many are even sick and suffer in their body because their broken heart and the pain or the fear has a way to affect the physical body. Yes. And many sickness is related to what is really happening in the soul. And Jesus didn't take it light. Let's look what Isaiah says. And again, I'm reading this from the Amplified because I want you to get the real depth from this. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed and qualified me to preach the gospel of good tidings to the meek, the poor and afflicted. Because what I want you to understand is that Jesus the Christ, he was a man moved with compassion. He was a man that walked the earth, being true man and true God. And he knew what was going on inside of every human being. He could see the affliction. He could see the abuse. He could see the bruised heart. He says he has sent me to bind up. When something is broken, you got to bind it up. You need to use a bandage when it's wounded. And it says, and to heal the broken heart. It is not understood in the church in general. Because not enough people are moving with compassion. They are moved with all sorts of motives, but not with compassion. But thank God for Jesus. And it says he came to proclaim liberty to the physical and spiritual captives. And the opening of the prison and of the eyes to those who are bound. Jesus knows the spiritual realm more than anybody else. Jesus moved in the flesh and simultaneously he moved in the spirit. Hallelujah. 
He knows what the devil does. And he knows what his angels are assigned to do. Jesus made a profound statement in Luke 17, verse 1 and 2. The King James Version reads that Jesus is saying, I cannot help it, but offenses will come. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ said that with tears in his eyes. Because it's a fallen world. It's a fallen world. And you know what happens in a fallen world? Bad things happen to good people. And bad things may have happened to you. And you need to be healed of your broken heart. Because without that healing of your soul, you cannot be set free. For Satan, the enemy of our soul, often has his right to keep us bound and captive because of our past and what caused us to bruise and break our hearts. Because a broken heart is often filled with fear. Sometimes with anger towards those that have caused it. Sometimes with unforgiveness. And whatever God meant for good, unfortunately in a fallen world, Satan will use it for evil. And we end up in a situation where good people have had to endure offenses, abuse, and rejection. says take a moment oh glory thank you holy spirit begin to move even now thank you jesus thank you lord holy ghost begin to touch their hearts even now he's going to move very mightily today yes. men and women many of us <laughs> Have, en have endured this suffering. And in a fallen world, we have something that is called a pathology. It is, it is reverse psychology. And it means that a broken person who is a victim of evil doing yes. is continually tormented because of the very thing that traumatized them to start with. And as I speak, I speak as the Holy Ghost commands me to speak. Because Jesus has so much compassion. And he wants you to open up your heart to him now. 
because he knows what's been going on. He knows how you felt when nobody loved you. He knows how you felt when daddy wasn't there and you needed daddy to say I love you. He knows what it feels if you are rejected by your own. He knows what it feels if you were abused, if they stole from you that which is the most precious, if they violated your purity. He knows what it is like to feel shame. He knows what it is like to not feel worthy of his grace and to live in fear. But Jesus is sent to heal the broken heart. Allow him to move in your heart. Allow the Holy Spirit to go where only the Holy Ghost can go. Allow him to go where no psychologist can go. Where no psychiatrist can go. Don't be afraid if that deep hurt from the past is, is welling up inside of you. This time he has done that to take it away from you. Everything that Jesus had to endure in the passion to the point where he was displayed totally naked. On a cross, put to shame in front of the entire world as the Son of God. You know why? To bear your shame. To set you free from the shame that you have had to endure. But he took it first. For he is the Christ. He is the Messiah. He is the Savior. He is the healer. He is everything. He shouted. Eli, Eli, Lama Sabachthana. Father, Father, why have you forsaken me? Even his own father had to turn his back for a moment so that he felt totally rejected because he was to take your rejection so you can be healed from that rejection you can be set free from that rejection because rejection hurts rejection hurts more than a beating a rejection stays and leaves a cut mark in the heart. But Jesus was sent to heal the broken heart. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivers them oh. 
The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart. The scriptures are full of this. And the Lord commanded me to teach and preach on this. And to allow his compassionate Holy Spirit to move upon you here now and you that are watching. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save such as be of a contrite spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yes. I want you to take a moment and close your eyes. And I don't want you to be ashamed right now. The Lord is saying, I'm sorry for what happened to you. I was there. Holy Spirit, welcome. Divide these precious souls from their spirit. And begin to heal their soul. As I bind everything that comes against. A healing of their heart. I call forth the pain that is inside of you all over to come so the Holy Ghost can begin to take it away. Holy Spirit, I divide soul and spirit, lay aside the spirit. Bring up the wounded one that is inside of their soul that part of their soul that had to endure that rejection and that abuse that part that was filled with fear Lord remember the little ones Holy Ghost begin to touch them touch them Holy Ghost Holy Ghost, begin to touch. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Begin to touch them. Begin to touch them. Holy Ghost. Begin to touch them. Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. We welcome you, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, we welcome you, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, precious Holy Ghost. Begin to move upon your people. <laughs> Holy Spirit, touch. Begin to touch. to heal. Allow yourself to go to the point of the pain. Only now you can do it because God is here. Go to the point of the pain. The most terrible thing the most terrible thing that ever happened to you. I don't care what it is. Go there now. For it shall no longer hold you back. Let the Lord come to you right now. At the point of the pain. Right now, he's beginning to heal your heart.
Give it to Jesus. Give it to Jesus. Give it to him now. Give it to him, sister. Give it to him, brother. Jesus says, come home with Jesus. And he'll give you rest. Jesus says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. And I will give rest unto your soul. Rest unto your soul. The body of Christ suffers and is in pain. For often a time, the second task that Jesus said, heal the brokenhearted, is forgotten about. But that's the love of Jesus. He loves you. He wants to heal your broken heart. So that he can set you free. And then you can live the abundant life. All of you are going to be excelled and propelled in that abundant life. And this deep entrenched pain in the bottom of your soul shall no longer be any ground for Satan to torment you. Right now, I plead the blood of Jesus all over that pain. Thank you for healing the broken hearted, Lord. I renounce and reject every spirit of rejection. In the name of Jesus, I repent and renounce every action that is sin, the drinking of blood, the marking and cutting of my skin. I renounce every spirit behind every person that has come to see me in my dreams. I renounce the food and drink that I have had in dreams. In the name of Jesus. I renounce the curse of illegitimacy of bearing children outside of wedlock. I renounce the curse of barrenness of infirmity of sickness and I declare that by his stripes I am healed. By his suffering, I am restored, and I shall not lack any good thing. In the name of Jesus, I reject and renounce the spirit of Jezebel. And now, According to Luke 10, 19, I declare I have authority over every power of the devil, and nothing shall by any means hurt me. I renounce Satan and the kingdom of darkness, and I command you, Satan. 
or in all your kind and all your parts to let go of me to get out of me to go to the pit in the name of Jesus go 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 in Jesus name I don't suffer you any longer I've broken your rights I've pulled down the stronghold Holy Spirit touch me take over my mind my body and my spirit cleanse me with your blood Lord Jesus and cut every ungodly tie every spiritual husband or wife and cut every demonic tie between body, soul and spirit close any third eye with the blood of Jesus Amen I love to share with you everything that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings is doing all over the world. You know I'm an evangelist and it is my passion to win souls that are lost. I'm now back in the capital of Sierra Leone where we did a crusade a campaign last night and tonight is the second night. But the three days that I was in the East, we saw over 500 people recorded the decision for Jesus Christ for the very first time. They renounced their other faith and they renounced their ways of sin and they came and surrendered their lives to Jesus. For the will of God is for none to perish, but for all to come to repentance. And we saw that greatest miracle of all, salvation coming to pass. This is a land, of course, with a history of bloodshed and many other nations in Africa. And they need the power of deliverance. Jehovah is the healer and he proved his word. And we give the glory to Jesus. Keep me in this field because together and only together, we can do it for Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. And I need your help. Keep me in the field for bigger and larger and longer crusades all over Africa, all over Asia, all over every part, every city, the Lord sends me in Jesus' name.